All right, so in this segment of the class, we're gonna be talking about uh, body positions, okay? We're gonna be talking about your fundamentals uh, and your marksmanship. We're gonna be talking about your body position and your stance, your grip, your aiming, your breathing control, trip control, and your follow through, all right? This is shooting 101, okay? The first thing we need to do is go ahead and create good posture. Are you cold? Let me turn, okay, say something, mother. Let's talk about body positions, okay? Body positions and posture. Uh, what we wanna do is this right here. We wanna create the right body position that is going to give you the utmost advantage in what you're doing. So there are two basic stances that we teach and train from, two basic stances. Those stances are called the Weaver stance and the Isosceles stance. What are they? Weaver and Isosceles. Weaver and Isosceles. Good. So your weaver stance is nothing more. I'm just grabbing my. Um, I think I'm just to grab this one now. All right. The weaver stance and the isosceles stance. So I'm going to demonstrate, and you're going to follow along with me. Okay. Let's start with your isosceles stance. All right. The isosceles stance. Only thing you're going to do is you're going to spread your legs a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Okay. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna slightly bend at the knee, just slightly, you know what I'm saying? Not in the little crunchy, you know, all that good stuff, but just slightly where you're comfortable. Resting the weight of the body evenly on the balls and heels of both feet, okay? Now from there, what you're gonna do is keep everything pointed towards the target. All of your body is gonna be towards the target. Your feet, your knees, your hips, your chest, your shoulders, your hands, everything's gonna be pointed towards what? Target. Towards your target. Excellent. So what you're going to do, slightly bend at the knees, make a gun shape with your finger, and you're going to point straight out with your chest, just like that. Good. Good. Now, in that position right there, what I want you to do is slightly lean forward a little bit more, just in your upper torso. Not your legs, but just in your upper torso. So you're going to be here, and you're going to punch out there. Good. Okay. You can bend a little bit more, bam, like that. Get a comfortable stance, and that is called your what stance? A sosceles stance, okay? A sosceles stance, you can relax for a second, okay? So, we're gonna talk about that stance again. All right, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. So the first thing I want you to do, go ahead and get in a good sosceles stance for me, please. And stance, go. Good, now that is beautiful, that is beautiful. I love it, I love it, yes, all right? That's good posture. Everything points towards what? The target. Everything point towards the target. target. Excellent, and relax, good. The next stance we're gonna talk about is your weaver stance. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right. You are right-handed, good. So we're gonna talk about your weaver stance. So we're gonna start off basically in the same way you did with the isosceles, your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. All right? Now, here's the thing. You have a dominant side and a non-dominant side, okay? Your dominant side is the side which you always use. Your non-dominant side is normally your weaker, okay? So, you're gonna hear me say dominant and non-dominant. So your dominant side is gonna be which side? The side you use the most. Which is? Right. Right. And your non-dominant is yeah. your excellent. Now that we have established that effective communication, now we can go ahead and train. Okay, let's do this. So, your non-dominant side, your non-dominant leg, you're going to take it and you're going to step straight forward. Bam! Beautiful, beautiful. So, with your non-dominant leg straight forward, now you're going to slightly bend that knee. Um, everything points towards what? The target. The target. Your dominant leg, you want to keep it straight and locked out. Beautiful, okay? Everything with your hand goes the same way, and you're going to slightly lean, not to the side, go back over, but lean forward, lean, bam. Good, right here. Beautiful, that's where I want you at, right here. So if I'm leaning here, I'm leaning straight ahead, okay? I'm not leaning like this, I'm just resting my balance leg, and my power leg, and I'm just leaning forward, 
is straight out. You see that? You have great stance because if I come beside you, see, I couldn't even tilt you over. So that's great balance, that's great power, and that's the position we want you to be at right here. What stance is that called? The weaver. The weaver stance. So now, with that being said, okay, with that being said, I want you to go in a good weaver stance for me. And go. Now. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong. I'm listening. No, no, no. Hmm? No, hold on, hold on, let me do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the weaver stance. You good? You sure? Don't move. <laughs> Great way to know. Okay. Feet apart. A little bit more than shoulder width apart. Oh, right. Okay. Now what? Left foot forward. Dominant. Uh, non dominant. Non dominant foot forward. Good. There you go. Now I can already tell you. You have a different base now. So now when I come, you have a different base. Okay? It makes the world a difference, right? Okay. Stay right there for me. Look at it. There you go. Come forward. Be a shooter. Be aggressive. Good. 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 And relax. Okay. Now, those are your two basic stands. What are they again? A faculty and weaver. Weaver. Let's talk about our grip position now, okay? We just said we had a dominant side and a non-dominant side, correct? Uh -huh. I'm going to demonstrate your proper grip first, and then we're going to go ahead and allow you to do it. You with me? Uh -huh. So, with your non-dominant hand, you're going to hold your weapon. First, let's do this. You see the thing? I want you to look at it. What's in there? Nothing. Nothing. What's in there? Nothing. So we know that the weapon is what? Are you clear? Clear. Weapon is clear, all right? So, with your non-dominant hand, okay, you're gonna grab the slide of your weapon. The curve is going to be facing your dominant side, okay? Curve facing the dominant side. With your dominant hand, you're gonna make a C, U, V, whatever you wanna call it, whatever ladder you wanna call it, okay? But you're gonna make that with your hand. You see the natural curve in the weapon? You're gonna place your dominant hand up high, choking up on it, right in the natural curve of that weapon. You with me so far? Your bottom three fingers is going to wrap around the grip and the front strap, okay? And your trigger finger is going to go along the frame of the weapon. You see that? All right? Your thumb is going to wrap around the other grip side, and it's going to go in this natural position. That is a one-handed grip. From the one-handed grip, we're going to go to the two-handed grip. And that is, you're going to take, once you have established the one-handed grip, you're going to take your non-dominant hand. Your fingers and thumb is going to be extended and joined, okay? You're going to take and take the palm of your hand and wrap it around right underneath the trigger guard and wrap it around your other fingers at the bottom. Your non-dominant thumb is going to rest along the frame of the weapon here. And your dominant thumb is going to go on top of your non-dominant thumb. This position I call sexy thumbs. <laughs> sexy thumbs. And that is a demonstration of your proper grip. You with me so far? Mm -hmm. All right, so at this time, go on up and secure your weapon in your magazine. I want you to release your slide to the front, and I want you to insert your magazine, and let's get back in front of your banner there. Are you learning something? I am. That's what I'm talking about right there. So we can kick this bad boy on here, okay? All right, so with that being said, go ahead and place your hand I mean, place the weapon in your non-dominant hand. Non-dominant with the curve pointing towards which direction? Your dominant side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. On top of the front. Mm -hmm. your oh. Place it in your dominant hand on top. Okay. Put your non-dominant hand on top of the slide. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, with that being said, good. You're choking up on it. Go ahead and stick it out for me. Let me see it. Stick it out. Yeah, stick the weapon out. Yeah, there you go. All right. Good. Okay. Now, with that 
been said. That is your proper one-handed grip. That's good. I see it. Now, go ahead and release your non-dominant hand from the top. And I want you to place your fingers and thumb extending the joint and put it into a two-handed grip, pointing the weapon straight in front of you at your target. Good. There you go. Oh, look at that. Almost. There you go. Beautiful. Now, look at those sexy thumbs. That's what I'm talking about. Now, close your fingers up and rest. There you go. Right there underneath. Beautiful. Now, with that grip right there, that's good. You see how your trigger finger is right there on the frame? That's what we want it to be in, okay? That is very good. That is very, very good. I love it. I love it. I love it, okay? Now, when you get ready to engage in your shooting, punch all the way out. Extend your arms all the way out. Extend. Now, your dominant arm is going to push forward, okay? Your non-dominant arm is going to pull in. And that's going to create a stabilization of your firearm. Okay, so get into a isosceles stance. Good. Now, good. Now, there you go. Lean into it and be the shooter. Be aggressive. Be that doggone Charlie's Angels. Look at you. Come on, girl, with your bad self. All right, and relax. Weaver stance. Go. Weaver. Weaver. There you go. All right, good. Good, that's what I wanted to see. You made your adjustments and relax. So, so, let's go to our proper aiming now, okay? When you look at your weapon, at the back of your weapon, you see two dots. This is called your rear sights. You see this right here? Those are called rear sights. At the front of your weapon, you have what? The far sights. The, I'm done with you, okay? So smart, okay? <laughs> You have your front sight, exactly. You see, if you look down the front of your weapon, do you see the relationship between your front sights and the rear sights? I want you to put your weapon straight in front of you. Do you see the relationship between your front sights and your rear sights? All three dots need to be in a straight line. I'm going to show you how I want it to look. Okay, come on. Come on. Get back to that. And right there. Do you see the relationship in all three of these dots? Mm -hmm. They're in a straight line. Mm -hmm. Even yeah, space, know. left and right, and they're in the same level. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's where I want you at, right there. Okay? Now, your eyes cannot focus on more than one thing at a time. Your eyes can only focus on one thing at a time. So in the relationship of your sight picture, you have your target right here, then you have your rear sights, and then you have your front sights. When you zoom in or focus in on your sights, your target is becoming blurry. Your rear sights are going to be what? Blurry. Blurry. And your front sight is going to be? Clear. Crystal clear. Okay, that is the relationships of your sight picture. You with me so far? So let's talk about proper breathing now, okay? Now, what I want you to do, I want you to get in a weaver stance. You know what? Go to a Sosceles stance. I want you to punch out. Now, keeping both eyes open, I want you to look at your front sight. There you go, sexy thumb. Take a big out that trigger. All right? Now, you looking at your front sight? Mm -hmm. Both eyes open. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Take a deep breath. Let it out. And relax. What were your sights doing? Adjusting. When you took a deep breath, what did your gun do? Uh, nothing. Focus more for me. Mm -hmm. Focus more for me. Take the, go back into the sausage then. Look at the tip of your weapon. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. What the gun do? Move. It moved. Which direction? Up. Up. Relax. Understanding your breathing control is very important to your sight picture. Okay? Because as you breathe, your gun will move. As you inhale, your gun will go up. As you exhale, your gun will go down. 
So it is important for you to temporarily hold your breath right before you pull the trigger in order to create a nice, stable, solid, firm sight picture. Okay? Remember that. Hold your breath momentarily. Hold your breath all the time. Yeah. So hold your breath momentarily. There you go. All right. You are you in the house. You in the house. So now let's talk about our trigger control. All right. Trigger control is so important for you to understand because if you put too much finger on the trigger, okay, your weapon, we just talked, we already talked about the breathing. So bam, right here. The relationship of your finger and the trigger, all right? If you put too much finger inside the trigger, you're going to pull your weapon to the right, okay? If you put too little finger on the trigger, you're going to push it to the left. You want it to be at a nice, comfortable spot, okay? Right there. Your Stick your trigger finger out for me. Stick it out. There you go. When you talk about your trigger finger, you want just the meaty portion right there, the tip on the trigger itself, okay? And then you're gonna pull the trigger straight back. Now, this is an exercise I like to see you do because I want you to understand that the way that your gun moves right before you pull the trigger. So, what I want you to do is this right here. I want you to turn and let me show you first. I'm going to show you what I want you to do. Uh, okay, so I want you to punch out on the wall and I want you to slowly pull your trigger back, pull it, and your gun should not move. If you see your gun going up and down or moving as you're pulling the trigger, that's going to affect your shot. Okay, so with that being said, go ahead, go into a soft release, put the gun as close to the wall as you can, step on up. Keep going, keep going, right there, salsa lease. All right, back up a little bit so you can lean into it. Now lean, good. Now, pull the trigger. Good, did you see the gun move? No. No, it did not. Release, good, and pull again. Now it was moving that time. Yeah. All right, release and pull again. Keep it still. Good, I good focus. Good. That's excellent. Okay. That's where we want you at every time. All right. Every time. Right there. All right. Now let's talk about range procedures. Now, when we go to the range, that is one of the most dangerous time of this course. All right. So there you are. I'll be right there. Okay. So we go to the range. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it out of here. When we go to the range, we have to do what I call range procedures and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, all right? So, let me clear one of my, let me clear my magazine. All right, so, I want you to stand right over there for me. Yep, right there so you can see. Matter of fact, let's step to the side because I don't, so the weapon is going to be on your strong side, your dominant side. Your magazine is going to be on your non dominant side. Okay? When you go up to the range, this is your range procedure. I'm going to say, shooter, step up to the fire line. You're going to go up to the fire line. I'm going to say, secure your firearm. You're going to pick your gun up, putting your trigger finger on the frame, and pointing it right at the target. Okay? I'm going to say, good. I'm going to say, secure your magazine. You're going to take your magazine, and you're going to hold it over your shoulder, just like this. I'm going to be behind you. So I will be inspecting your magazine to make sure that the bullets are in its proper place, okay? I'm going to say good. I'm going to say lock and load that magazine. that firearm. You're going to take that magazine, the back of the magazine. It's going to go to the back of the weapon. Lock it in, keeping that weapon pointed at the target at all times. I want to say good. Set a release test live to the front. You're going to push it down. I'm going to say good. Shooter, are you ready? You're going to say ready. I'm going to say the firing line is now hot. Shooters, take on a good stance. Whichever stance you feel comfortable in shooting in. Do I'm it. Go All right. I'm going to take on a good stance. Good grip. You're going to make sexy thumb. You're going to make choke up on it. Good aim. Breathing control. Trigger control. When I say trigger control, 
that's when you take your fingers from the frame and put it on the trigger. Trigger control, you know what I'm saying? Fire. Cease fire, cease fire, cease fire. Take that magazine out the weapon. Place the magazine and the weapon down on the table. Step back from the fire line. And that's what you're going to do. How simple is that? Easy, right? Come on, let's try it. Shooter, take on the defense. Good grip. Remember your grip. Remember your sexy thumbs. Sexy thumbs. Where are your sexy thumbs? Remember on the frame. On the, that's what you're supposed to be doing. On top. Good. Good grip. Good aim. Lean into it. Breathing control. Trigger control. Fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Take that magazine out that weapon. Place the magazine and weapon down on the table. Step back from the front line. Go ahead and lock your slide to the rear. We're going to try it one more time. I want you to breathe. Relax. How you feel? Uh, okay. Okay. I know it's new. Go ahead and lock that slide to the rear. Finger. Out the trigger. It's so hard to lock it with your finger out the trigger. Then put your finger around the bottom. Um, okay. Okay. Or up, or up on the side. See, I okay. I gotta have something like this because it helps me okay. with this side. Okay, so keep it on the frame, but not on that trigger. Gotcha. Push it up. Got your finger inside that ejection port. I have to, and I can't move it to the side either. Hmm? I can't do it like this. Why don't you move your body? Move your body. Rotate. There you go, like that. Keeping the weapon pointed downrange. Rotate your whole body. Yeah. Now that way, where's the gun pointing? Still pointing that way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're not going to have I am patient. I ain't going to be patient with that trigger finger, though. I know. That's the part I'm hot with. Help me. Okay. Remember this. Here. Here. Pull it back. I do with one hand, which is hard. See how strong you are gripping it right here. Okay, I think I can do it. Let's see. Now watch it, don't let it slide. Okay, let's see. Ready? Go ahead and put it down. 
Let's try that again. You ready? Here we go. Shooter, step up to the firing line. Secure your firearm. Secure your magazine. Lock and load that magazine inside the firearm. Let me touch it. Good. Release that slide to the front. Watch your fingers over that ejection port. If your hand get caught in the ejection point, baby girl, you're going to know it and you're going to feel it. Okay? Pull it back and push that button down. And let it go forward. Push it back. Push the button down at the same time. There you go. Okay? Good. Shooter, are you ready? Fire line is now hot. Shooter, take a little stance. Good grip. There you go. Stay the thumbs on the frame. On the frame. On the frame. That's good aim. Bring both thumbs down on the frame. This side is going to move, mommy. Okay? It's going to move. You don't want your hand up here. Trust this one. So you want it down here below on the frame. Okay? Good. All right? Good grip. Good aim. Breathing control. Trigger control. Fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire. Take that magazine out of that weapon. Place the magazine and the weapon down on the table. Step back from the firing line. What's your, what's your schedule like? 